I guess now for a few years I have uh, known Matthew Medina, and, I, and I've seen the videos online with Cody Hess. They're great activists, and they're also radio talk show hosts. I can hear them here locally uh, in Austin on 90.1 uh, weeknights, and uh, I just really enjoy listening to their show when I'm driving home uh, later in the evening and tuning into it. So I thought, why not have Matthew Medina and Cody Hess in studio? And they brought another We Are Change uh, activist, uh, Rachel French, uh, along with them. And they're going to be with us for the rest of the hour. We'll have to get some headphones on towards the end because I am going to uh, take some calls from 9-11 uh, truthers out there or folks that disagree with us. But we're going to see a lot of attacks uh, coming up in the future against 9-11 truth because it's out there that government staged terror. It's out there that Obama shipped guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment. He doesn't care that he's been caught. They're still going to use it and are now announcing they're using it to go after the Second Amendment. They're telling gun shops how many guns they can sell now outside of law. That's called dictatorship. I don't have a law, but I'm the decider, so that's the way it is. And we've had this slide towards tyranny, but now you got Mitch McConnell yesterday saying, we'll just give Obama the power of the purse. Violates Article 1, Section 8, to another extent, uh, Section 7, Article 1, Section 7. Uh, this is all happening right now, and coming up later, we've got Ron Paul grilling uh, the head bankster, uh, Ben Bernanke, and uh, uh, Bernanke tells Paul, gold is not money, our fiat money is money, and they're going into uh, QE3 now, like Mexico did back in the 80s, devaluing the dollar, uh, the, 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 the peso soon will be on par with the dollar, uh, to give people an idea, or I guess with the old ruble. Uh, and, uh, but they're telling us there's no inflation, it's very low, everything's fine. Uh, but more and more, they're having to admit, no, we're actually in a depression. So a lot is happening. And I, I mean, I don't know where to start with you guys. Uh, you're doing a great job down in San Antonio. And there's other people spontaneously all over the country confronting politicians with the real questions, uh, involved in activist actions. Uh, but uh, Matthew, Cody, uh, and of course, she didn't really want to be interviewed, but we drug her in here. Uh, Rachel, I mean, just what do you think is most important happening in the world right now? It's that, like, people are really starting to get active. I mean, I think that's the most important thing is that people now are using the information they know to hit the streets and to get something done. Yeah, definitely. I would say one of the most important things to talk about right now is activism. The activism is red hot. I mean, we can look around the world and see the, the uh, revolutions, and, of course, they're staged, and we can see all this, but here is something genuine in the Infowar activism. We want to uh, highlight that because that's what we've been doing. That's what I've been doing for four years now in San Antonio, as you know, because I've seen you a lot, you know, around here in Texas doing, doing activism, man. It's been nonstop, and definitely so much going on in the, in the world like you just brought up, but, I mean, uh, specifically, the Operation Gunrunner, um, uh, Fast and the Furious, we've planned two street actions for this month. Um, uh, one of our friends, Henry Havoc, from uh, We Are Change San Antonio, made this sweet little box, and it opens up. What is Fast and the Furious? It opens up, and we're going to put the articles and a flyer and everything. And it's like a presentation, and we, we intro them to the false flag uh, of this whole uh, ATF, letting the guns walk. And we're accustomed to making DVDs that we're going to hand out. So those two actions we're going to do on that topic this month. And, uh, and I should also add, you guys make videos of the actions that you know, have been seen by millions of people. And this is an example of how the alternative media is becoming the mainstream media. But, but getting into Fast and Furious, uh, now uh, it's coming out that, that the government actually shipped them and delivered them to Los Zetas. Well, Sully Castillo told us that six years ago and again five years ago. And they locked him up. And they locked him up for it. I mean, their lives are finally eroding. It's just starting to get like that. I mean, this, the more this stuff gets out there in the open and exposed, I mean, the more we have an opportunity to wake everybody up. And the else. people that have said, we're kooks, they're the fools. Fifteen years ago, I had government documents. They knew that cell phones were causing brain cancer. Well, here it is, Fox News, CNN, cell phones, cancer, and infertility, 100% fact. See? Yeah, yeah, just like they knew asbestos was bad. If you want to go old school, they know a lot of these things are bad for us, and that's why it's our duty to expose it. And right now is the time everybody has information. We're seeing young people waking up when we do yeah. street actions. I mean, the people that recognize this the most on the streets of San Antonio are teenagers watching our YouTube videos. So it's a good thing to, uh, to, to, I mean, that's a really positive thing, a bright thing for the future. So definitely encouraging all the listeners to take action. Yeah, the new, the new generation is the way of the future. Like right here we got an article, Ron Paul, uh, why the young flock to an old idealist. I mean, they, they try to frame it like he's an old guy, he's, it's old ideals, but really, I mean, this guy is putting every, everything that all young folk would like. I mean, all the young generation wants to be free. They don't want to live in this tyranny they see, and they see their future eroding. That's what I see. I mean, I'm young. I'm 21 years old. I see, like, 10 years from now, I mean, am I going to have a future? It doesn't look like it. You know, Not if we let these criminals continue to blow stuff up and take our rights and pose as our savior. Uh, Rachel, uh, how did you get uh, woken up? 
Well, I started looking into videos just online, and uh, I started kind of... Oh, no, it's okay. They're moving it over. We need to hook a few more up in here. Go ahead. Um, basically, well, at first, I didn't really want to believe a lot of the things that I was, you know, finding, and I kind of, like, looked the other way, but it gets to a point where you can't because there's just so many facts, you know, that are just, like, right in front of your face. And I think people just like to live, like, I don't know, in their own world and, you know, not really acknowledge, like, what's going on, and that's, like, a source of frustration, I think, for all of us because it's, like, <laughs> we're trying to wake people up, and a lot of people, like, don't want to hear it. Well, yeah, I mean, if we got killers running things, we better get them out of there. We're not safe. Got to yeah. face reality. Yeah, it's definitely just a basic gut reaction to all this information. I mean, what are we supposed to do? To find out about all this and not do anything? We're we just supposed to stay home and play video games? Are we not supposed to get fired up about this? Are we just supposed to get fired up about, what, uh, Xbox Live, PS3, watching some HD? I mean, come on, this some serious stuff is going on. We need good people to stand up, stand for what's right. And, yeah, a lot of people put up a fake front that they don't want to hear this because they're faking it themselves. They're not an inner peace and ready and willing to stand up for those around to stand for what's good. And that's what we're trying to do. We are Change San Antonio, Truth Exposed Radio, and we're, we're encouraging and highlighting all the other people feeling the same way as us, the guys in Dallas, the Health and Light guys who, uh, I, I know they got in the top 10, the V for Victory uh, video, where they just plastered posters everywhere. They just made the yeah, Global Leads video. The Dallas area. They had two videos that uh, were just on the front of InfoWars recently in the last week. They're awesome. They're no, awesome. No, no, I mean, listen. They, they got passion. We got passion. And, and, and listen, they can't kill or lock us all up, and, and it's growing exponentially. Yeah. Take Luke Radowski. They kicked him out of 9-11 Truth because it was pretty much controlled in New York to a certain extent. I put him on air said, folks, follow this example. The, the cops tried to say he had bombs. Turned yeah. out that was yeah. fake. It, it, it totally exploded. And then he was an example to others. Now, you're an example to others. Yeah. It's a chain reaction. What do you make of Bob Graham coming out on MSNBC, one of the top 9-11 commissioners, and saying the U.S. government did protect the hijackers? They're finally having to come out with their lies because, I mean, 9-11 truth is going so much to where they're, now they're going to have to say, yeah, it is that way, but... You know, what are you guys going to do about it? Well, their new hoax is 9-11 Truth dead. Are you kidding? Yeah. You it's kidding? on fire everywhere. D d nine years ago, I, most of the radio stations kicked me off because of 9-11 Truth. Now they're putting me on because of it. It, uh, it. It's totally mainline now. So the BBC's running yeah, this hoax yeah. that, oh, 9-11 Truth's dead. Uh, yeah, folks. Yeah, it's a war tactic to a war tactic to get all of us is to be like, oh... You've lost. The war's that. over. Yeah, yeah. Go home. No, That's what they want. Anniversary. Well, it's also yeah. saying cease fire, and then they fire all their weapons. Because everyone yeah. in yeah. this already is so frustrated, like she was saying, um, that people just won't accept the knowledge. They won't wake up. So you can get frustrated because it's like you see all this going on, but people around you... They won't wake up to it, and then if they, even if they do wake up to it, they won't get active with it. And I think that's, that's all that really matters. I mean, just knowing the knowledge isn't enough now. I mean, that time has passed. Now we're at the precipice in history where we really have to make a choice, get active, or sit back and say, oh, they'll do it. They'll well, here's an example. I've got several million people that listen to this show every day. What would happen if all of them started putting out a neighborhood newsletter? What would happen if all of yeah. them yeah. got a, even if you don't understand the technology, I didn't understand the technology years ago, get your neighbor to help you do YouTube videos every day. It's very easy. What if everybody started talking? Everybody will reach people. Everybody will have a good effect. Some people are going to be more talented, more intelligent than I am or you are. We're going to find future Alex Joneses, future yeah. uh, Luke Radowskis. We're going to find uh, you know, future uh, Rachel French's. We're going to find future uh, Cody Hesses. We're going to find future Ron Paul's. It's time yeah. to yeah. turn it loose uh, just like they have the farming teams for baseball. It is time to turn it on. Yeah, and you're right and this bringing up the sports analogy is perfect. I would say Truth Exposed Radio is the sports center of the new wave of anti-New World Order activists. I mean, you have Matias and Pedro and Chile who confronted David Rock. You have them all on. They, That's they, the they, show they, I heard last week started. where you had like 20 different activists yeah, on yeah, from yeah. all yeah. over the world the that, revolution. That, that many of them are making national news yeah. by right slamming now, and bamming. Right now, Matias and uh, Pedro and Chile, they just released a, 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 a classified document from a business, a, a, a $7 billion U.S. plan to build this uh, energy line and it's 70% it's of the people are against it. Well, uh, the documents released to Matias, and he, he, uh, he leaked them out, and now the publications of Chile are saying his website is the WikiLeaks of Chile. This just happened yesterday. They sent it to me. Yeah, and these guys are young. I mean, they're... Listen, young. history's here! It is. is. Listen, it's down, it's listen down the road, you're going to wish you got in the fight for 1776. 1776, worldwide, it's time to just yeah. get, get some on the New World Order. Dude, it's right Yeah! Now. Don't wait till... Ah! Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. Don't wait for 20 years when it's all, oh, it's, oh, it's cool now. No, jump on it now before it's cool. We're doing it now. Matias and, and Pedro and Chile over here in the U.S. Dallas. And now more people are going to send them documents. Switzerland. That's right. Yeah, more people. Are gonna and they'll try to take over that, but more will be launched. I mean, we need to launch a thousand X-Wings at this Death Star. Throwing info nuggets in the pond of consciousness of the minds of men is what we're doing. We're just launching DVDs. We found it out well over 30,000. That's what I've always said. Don't stop. Just fire in yeah, all directions. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm not stopping. If you hand out 100 DVDs and it gets to one person to watch it, I mean, that's you already woke up a mind. I mean, that's all that matters. I would spend 20 bucks to get 100 DVDs to wake up one person. And that's what that's what, that's how we've been surviving is the fact that people. It's like a family network, and we are changed San Antonio. Different people always pitching in DVDs, so we can keep going and keep going, and we keep making videos. And for example, our our camp quarter die last year and we haven't had a camcorder we've been using our iphones yeah. so the point is you do what you can i'll give you one right now i've got piles of old cameras well, that, that, uh, uh, that are compatible with our new computers last year we didn't stop we can't yeah. make videos with what we have and that's what we try to tell everybody just do what you can with what you have don't stress out about but now you've gotten some cameras video. then you're saying no, no, we're going to give you some right now, then. Okay, cool. that's awesome. Because we're gonna gonna use. The videos are just as important as the action because the yeah. videos show an example of how to get active. It shows that it's easy. I mean, we go out there, we have a good time. We're not out there like, oh, we got to do this. We're like, hey, let's have fun with it. We go. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. We get active. Well, listen, I got some AK 47s for you in the info war. I, I've got a bunch of a bunch of cameras we really can't use because they're not compatible with the latest computers. So we're going to get you some more uh, 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 weapons. That's awesome. But I mean, exactly. All over the place, people are having a huge effect. Stay there. Let's, let's talk about more of what's happening happening and yeah. see if we can't uh, cause an info riot here today. I'm Alex Jones. This is the GCN Radio Network, GCNlive.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am really excited to have some great political activists who I didn't even know over the last year have been shooting videos on their iPhones, but that works pretty darn good, actually. So we've got some video cameras that we actually still use occasionally, um, but we always try to move up to the even higher res. Uh, one is an HD Sony uh, hard drive, another uh, that I've had for years. I've done a lot of work with this little baby myself. I've right. had this five, six years. This has seen a lot, including Bilderberg Group. 2006, we're giving you both these with the fire wires uh, and the equipment. Two little terrorists <laughs> in the info war to go out there and uh, show the evil that's going on, but also show the folks that you're waking up and the politicians like uh, Twinkle Toes, uh, Perry, the former chief of staff in Texas for Al Gore. Uh, uh, God yeah. bless him. Uh, so you guys are just doing a wonderful job. Uh, please continue. So you're down there in, in, in San Antonio, Military City, USA. Even when the newspaper tries to come photograph the giant NSA base, mm -hmm. the police come and tell them to turn off their cameras in America. We've had that happen to us, too. Our yeah. group, we're, we are down there in NSA trying to get some video footage, and they're, and they're coming out. Well, I know what's happened to you. It hasn't yeah, happened to me. Yeah, story I didn't really tell anybody because they actually did intimidate me to delete my footage, and I was kind of, I, I, I kept, I mean, the group of guys were like, man, Oh, yeah, well, if they're off their jurisdiction at the Home Depot, uh, you know, a quarter mile away, next they're going to be in your house. Yeah, and I mean, you know, that, that's why I want to encourage all activists, definitely know your rights. I mean, of course. I mean, we know what you're doing in there. You're running all our communications yeah. illegally through your computers. We know you're crooks. We know you stage 9-11. Oh, yeah, I mean, right. And we know you know, terrorist. Yeah, and we, we try to drop info bombs on them. I gave them DVDs. These are NSA police, and they, as soon as we got out of the street, we're going to hang posters for uh, one of the videos and across the street from the NSA. Right away, they came, pulled up, got out. They had uh, uh, police suits, and they, right away, they wanted to get our info. But basically, I gave him the DVDs. He got them, walked to the car, put them in a plastic bag, sealed it, and then put the plastic bag with the Evidence DVDs in bags. the car. Yeah. But, um, you know, that was about it. Yeah, well, don't worry. They're, 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 Sybil Edmonds heard them commanding Al-Qaeda. So, I mean, you know, they, of course they don't want you filming them. They carried out 9-11. Yeah, I mean, no, these are terrorists. And, you know, Wayne Madsen ex exposed the Q unit and the NSA covering up 9-11. They are covering it up, and, and they're definitely got a big presence in San Antonio as well as uh, a lot of military bases. And these are the people that we're trying to wake up when we do street actions in, in front of the Alamo, just all around San Antonio, putting up posters. We're going to do that this Saturday. We're going to go put up Ron Paul 2012 posters everywhere, yeah, and we're going to make a video city. with these little babies right here. Yeah. These little uh, uh, exclusive limited edition Alex Jones Bilderberg camcorder. What? <laughs> right that's, a, that's a baby Al-Qaeda right there. Yeah. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be on the streets this month. Three, three, three street actions we got this month? Hopefully more. We're going to stop. That's one thing. We're not going to stop this. I mean, they, they can try to, you know, make us feel all down, like we can't make a change. We know we can. Because we've seen, I mean, how many more people are tuning into your show every day? How many more people are, you know, liking our page on Facebook that we have that are like, yo. Yeah, you know tell what? us about your uh, terrorist websites.